A remarkable collaboration between natural resource management and the seafood industry is seeing the restoration of marine habitats in southern Tasmania. Native oyster reefs, once abundant throughout Tasmania and southern Australia, have been lost from our shallow coastal waters. NRM South's Water and Marine Program and the Tasmanian seafood industry have joined forces to bring these reefs back to life through an Australian government funded project delivered in partnership with the Nature Conservancy. We're here on site today while construction's going on. To restore oyster reefs, what you need to do is build a low profile rocky reef. The reefs that we're building are about half a metre off the bottom. They're also in eight to nine metres depth. Once you've constructed the new reefs, then it's time to seed the reef with native oysters. At Sea Forest, a pioneering marine technology company based in Triabunna, these tiny oysters were nurtured and cared for in their secure hatchery. Every step of the way, Sea Forest ensured these young oysters were well fed and prepared for their journey ahead. Once they were large enough, qualified divers carefully placed these juvenile native oysters on the newly restored reefs. Through the Reef Builder project, we've restored native oyster reefs at Woodbridge and Taruna. To do this, we worked closely with the shellfish farmers on Bruni Island and the Tasman Peninsula to supply parent stock of native oysters. The once lost native oyster reefs are now coming back to life, providing essential habitat for a range of marine species. But the restoration efforts didn't stop there. The Tasmanian Smart Seafood Partnership has seen important research into giant kelp restoration. Giant kelp forests, like native oyster reefs, are important habitat, but they are declining along Tasmania's east coast due to warming sea temperatures. Commercial divers from Tasmania's wild catch sector also lent their expertise to remove species that graze on the kelp, supporting its regeneration. But it's not just about restoration, it's also about ensuring a thriving seafood industry. Our world-class wild catch fishing industry relies on healthy marine habitats. Kelp forests are extremely productive ecosystems in our coastal waterways. So the primary productivity from giant kelp forests is orders of magnitude greater than other kelp species. And all this primary productivity flows up through the food web to higher trophic levels and really supports a lot of our fisheries such as rock lobster and abalone. By protecting and restoring our marine ecosystems, we're securing the future of sustainable seafood for generations to come. NRM South's Water and Marine Program and the Tasmanian Seafood Industry, working hand in hand to create a brighter future for our seas.